With fake news spreading like wildfire these days, sometimes it's hard to tell whether what we're seeing or reading is actually real or make-believe. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? That's why it pays to take everything we consume online with a grain of salt. And in this age of misinformation, fact-checking should become second nature to us, so we won't fall again for such dangerous lies just like we did with these 10 internet hoaxes we actually believed. What's up, Fact This is Discovery Amuse serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out-of-this-world fun facts. Keep your eyes peeled because our number one viral hoax will have you seeing triple, triple, triple in the best way possible. Rest best. What? Now say it with me. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Number 10, Baby Snatching Eagle. This video garnered 2 million views within the first 24 hours that it was uploaded in December 2012. In it, the bird, believed to be a golden eagle, is seen circling above a park in Montreal, Canada, before swooping down and grabbing the toddler by the talons. When the cameraman approached the kid, he was crying but ultimately unharmed. Did that eagle really just snatch the baby and then drop him from five feet up in the air? The short answer is no. Uh-uh, no way. Because the clip was actually produced by some students from an animation school in Montreal. I'm shocked. This morning I woke up, I had no idea it would get viral that quick. I knew, it, I knew it had potential, but I didn't know it was spread around the globe. In fact, an eagle-eyed professional animator analyzed the clip and revealed some chinks in the editing, like when the eagle's wings suddenly disappeared mid-flight, and when its shadow disappeared, then magically reappeared. But you gotta admit, despite the errors, these kids have huge potential. Keep watching because our number one pick is a modern-day Anne Boleyn. There's your clue right there. Number 9. Facebook Deadlines Just when we thought the chain mail was so 90s, a lot of us were still deceived by these FB messages allegedly coming from the company's management, one of which was this message that says the social media giant will start charging users one cent per message unless you post the same message on your newsfeed or forward it to 10 other contacts. Even scarier was this circulated message claiming that a user's personal information will be made public based on their new policy. Oh my god! The ugly truth about Facebook, though, is that they earn billions by allowing advertisers to create micro-targeted ads which work not just for retail but also for politics. Content that is intended just, just to nudge us a little bit in a direction, to make us not vote or to make us vote for a particular person, or make us distrust a group. And truth be told, that's even scarier than those sketchy Facebook messages. Damn, this is some scary <laughs> Number eight, Martian misunderstanding. Every year for the past seven years, people have been circulating an email claiming Mars will look as big as the moon on August 27th. And every time, it says the phenomenon won't be seen again in our lifetime. However, let me tell you now that Mars will never appear as big as the moon. Back on August 27, 2003, the Earth really did have a close encounter with the red planet in a phenomenon called a perihelic opposition, an event when Mars was only about 34 million miles away from us. But even then, Mars only looked as big as this. But who knows, maybe Elon Musk delivers on his promise of colonizing Mars soon. That's way better than stargazing. Number 7. Pony Tricks Believe it or not, a huge number of apple sheep fell for this supposed hack of charging your iPod with nothing but a Gatorade-soaked onion. Heck, it even garnered more than 10 million views to date. Push the USB adapter into the top of the onion and once you get that in there give it a few seconds for the power to travel through and your iPod should power up. The electrolytes from the energy drink supposedly charge the device but if only the believers just read the description box which clearly stated that it was actually a parody video 
then we wouldn't end up here in the first place. The sadder state of affairs is that the Mythbusters clip debunking the I Onion hoax only has 200,000 views. While the onion might contain necessary electrolytes to make some sort of wet cell battery, it doesn't have the dissimilar metals, which are also required. See, this is why we can't have nice things. Number six, finger licking lie. Social media is certainly a great platform to rally people behind a good cause. Unfortunately, some deceiving fraudsters just want to take advantage of people's innate kindness. In April of 2014, three-year-old Victoria Wilcher from Mississippi was heavily scarred from a pit bull attack. A few months later, Victoria's grandmother took to Facebook to complain about a KFC branch which allegedly asked Victoria and her family to leave because her face distracted customers. It even made the national news. She said if that we'd have to leave, we were disturbing her other customers, but Victoria's face was disturbing other customers. Naturally, enraged internet ah. users showed their support for Victoria, donating an accumulated $135,000 towards her ongoing recovery. Even KFC itself pledged to donate $30,000. But after a little investigating, they found out there was no evidence of the incident actually happening. Because of this, Little Victoria's GoFundMe page was shut down and the proceeds were refunded. However, KFC still made good on their promise of helping the poor girl out. Number 5. Giant Spider Arachnophobes, you might want to look away from this one. At the beginning of the Iraq War in 2004, this photo of a soldier holding up a ginormous dead spider began circulating in a viral email. The arachnid, called a giant camel spider, allegedly got its name for attaching to camels' bellies and hatching their eggs under their skin. And allegedly, they can jump as high as an NBA player, prey on humans, and run up to 25 miles per hour while making screaming noises. The bad news is these spiders are real, but the good news is they're not as freaky as the email suggested. The misleading photo is actually a case of false perspective, which made the arachnid look 10 times its size. And those fun facts about the spider? Just a web of lies. Most camel spiders only measure up to six inches, weigh two ounces, and are definitely not venomous. Heck, they're not even technically spiders, but solpogids. Regardless, I'm staying away from these creatures. Nope. Number four, twerking girl on fire. Back in 2013, in a bid to impress her boyfriend, Caitlin Heller shot a video of her twerking by the door when things suddenly got too hot to handle. It became so viral, it made the rounds of news channels as a cautionary tale to stripper wannabes of the dangers of extreme twerking. I showed you a video of a young woman named Caitlin Heller who's now very famous. Even Jimmy Kimmel got in on the fun and featured Caitlin on his show. Now, before we go any further, I think most people are wondering why the video stopped so suddenly. It, it seemed like there was more to see. <laughs> why did it stop there? Oh, it got it got a little intense, but uh, I I do have the rest of the footage. Yes, yeah. but here's where things take a Twilight Zone turn when Jimmy finally revealed that he was behind the viral video all along. Should we show the full director's cut? I think it's time. I think it is time too. Yeah. Let's roll that. <laughs> Part of the job, ma'am. Apparently, Caitlin Heller is actually a stunt woman named Daphne Avalon, who had to keep the entire thing secret for months until the big reveal. So, no awkward twerkers were harmed during the filming of this video. Well played, Mr. Kimmel. You got us so good. Number three, water into wine. Wouldn't it be nice if you could make your own wine in the comfort of your home without having to go through all the motions of grape crushing, fermentation, and long months of waiting? 
Enter the miracle machine, which promised to make you turn water into wine. It's a simple three-step process. Add the ingredients, choose the style you want to create, and start the machine. You can monitor the whole process on your smartphone. Hmm, sounds a little shady, don't you think? But before you add this to your online cart, I'll let you in on a secret. What? It's a sham. But a good kind of sham in this case. Turns out, the fake winemaking machine video was part of a publicity stunt to raise awareness for a nonprofit called Wine to Water, which provides clean water to people with no access to it. And instead of a machine that turns water into wine, they have a contraption that turns dirty water into potable water, which is an even better miracle in my book. Number two. The Derbyshire Fairy. You may have encountered this viral photo from 2007 that rekindled our childhood fantasies about magical fairies. Sorry to blow off your fairy dust, but this is not the mummified corpse of a real-life Tinkerbell. Derbyshire resident Dan Baines, the prankster behind the fake fairy, revealed that it was all an April Fool's joke. April Fool's! <laughs> Dan is actually an illusion designer for magicians, which explains why the fairy looked so lifelike. But despite him coming clean, believers still insisted that his confession was a dirty trick to cover up these magical sprites' existence. He later listed the corpse model on eBay, where it fetched almost $400. That's money well spent. Before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing, boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, three-breasted woman. Your eyes are not fooling you. Yes, this woman has three breasts, or at least that's what massage therapist Alicia Hessler, aka Jasmine Tri-Devil, wants us to believe. The reason I got a third breast is because I wanted to make myself unattractive towards men sexually. I, d I just didn't want to be approached by men anymore. Jasmine says she spent $20,000 to have a third breast implanted on her body. And obviously, online news sites ate her story up. After all, it's not every day you get to see a woman with two cleavages and sporting a three-cup brassiere. But when a stolen luggage report from the Tampa International Airport was filed under Jasmine's real name, one of the items listed as missing was a three-breast prosthesis. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, Jasmine? I don't feel like I need to prove it. Because I know my tits are real. That's all that matters. Fast forward to 2019 and Jasmine finally let the cat out of the bag. It didn't take long for the media and the news to expose that it was in fact bogus. So, which of these fakers did you fall for in the past? Let us know in the comments section below. No judgment, we promise. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. And while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? Want to know more fraudsters who got too flashy for their own good? Then don't miss our roundup of the eight fake rich people exposed. Till then, always do your research, Fact and see you in the next video.